Jane, it's not exactly warm <laughs> here in Springvale, Utah at Morgan Valley Lamb and Jones Creek Beef Ranch, but we are loving it. We're gonna spend some time today with a couple of lambs, a couple of sheep, and a really, really cool farmer named Wes. I'm so excited for Wes to introduce us to some of the traditional practices in raising incredible lambs and sheep. Let's go tasting. Okay, Wes Crandall, little bit cowboy, little bit sheep herder. We're so excited to be talking with you today. Morgan Valley Lamb was started back in early 2000 with Jamie Gilmore and his family. Okay. I got to know him because we started a beef company called Jones Creek Beef. Well, a year later, he decided it was time to retire and move on. And so we saw an opportunity there. We kind of jumped head in and, and kind of took over and, and continued the tradition there. Now, my family's been raising beef in Utah for over 100 years. Oh um, my gosh, 100 so we, years? We've been around, okay. yeah, we, we hold our age very well. So. <laughs> <laughs> in the summertime, um, most sheep and lambs are up on the mountains of Utah. There's lots wow. of wonderful fresh feed up there. It's cooler temperatures, which is great for them. And, Wes, what uh, are they eating up there? They're, they're eating grass. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that, that's one of the great natural resources that Utah has is, is our mountain areas and we're trying to create a good ecosystem so it benefits everyone. Grass-fed beef and grass-fed lamb has actually been proven to help prevent cancer. You have to manage your grass properly because at certain times uh, the grass has more energy. And so talk to us a little bit about what we're seeing here. And, and these are just some of our older sheep that are used as, as mothers to, to raise our lambs. And we've been around for five generations but we like to continue to progress and learn and, and grow as we find better ways of management, better ways to um, help our animals, help the environment. Um, like we talked about, we want it to be an ecosystem that everyone benefits from. Wes has brought us over to Jones Creek Ranch, which is about three to four miles away from um, where we just were with the lambs on the other side of Springville. My family were pioneers. They came across when they got to Salt Lake. Brigham Young told them to keep going down to Hobble Creek or Springville and so we helped found or settle Springville. Five generations later still raising animals and beef and lamb and yeah supplying it to Utah. The good thing is we like what we do so we love it. We want to keep expanding as best as we can to uh, keep doing what we love and benefiting the environment and the animals and we focus on uh, a rotational grazing system as we call it so that the cattle are always getting fresh and nutritious grass. Um, we don't want to overgraze the environment. Um, we want that, uh, that ground or that soil to have a rest period so it can grow back up strong and healthy to continue to get thick. And then that just translates into the cattle as they're able to eat fresh grass every single day of their lives. They just stay healthy and strong. We love working with our family. It, it's part of the reason that I love doing what I do. Everything that we do in Utah to our restaurants, to our grocery stores is all with Utah beef. Uh, but we've expanded. We have some accounts with different grocery stores, with Walmart and with Kroger, that we need more and more beef. And instead of lowering our standards, we actually raise our standards so that it's, it's always 100% grass-fed, always all natural, no hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics. So. so Utah is raising the national standard. Yeah, That's absolutely. Incredible. Utah, do you know how lucky we are? <laughs> this is amazing. 